Okay, um, I'm having to do this tutorial over again. Uh, uh, so I'm showing the uh, Channel Z site. I got here by clicking that link. You know, notice this link that doesn't have anything in it. Uh, <laughs> I need to fix that so that there's always something inside of a playlist or there's always an icon even when there's nothing in the playlist. Um, this is the playlist I just generated uh, just now so that uh, and it's got no videos in it currently. It's called Make Dream Academy. And just uh, just for the record, this is where you where you need to go to get the to make the playlist is here. You put in a number, you put in the musician, you hit submit, it generates a link. You take that bookmark and you put it up here and there's that bookmark right there. And uh, if you want to know what the code is, to know what the encoding of the bookmark is, it's right here. Uh, this is the special bookmark code right there. And uh, if you copy that down and you put it in, you can use this playlist. I don't care because... Uh, I don't plan to do, well, I do plan to do something useful. Uh, I'll probably delete it from the system. So, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> uh, but, uh, let me go back here. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do Spotify. How you take stuff from Spotify and put it onto YouTube, onto um, Chelsea. This is how it works. Uh, first, you go into your um, into your uh, edit area. You drag and drop this bookmark on the bookmark bar. Then you go to Spotify. <laughs> Spotify, and you log in to your Spotify account. Use Open Web Open Web play, Player. And uh, then you find a playlist. Let's take this one for it. It's a daily mix uh, playlist. And uh, you go to the bottom of the, the mix. Uh, ooh, I guess it's not uh, a real playlist. It has to be saved as a real playlist. That's what it has to do. Where's the option to do that? They don't give you that option, do they? Oh, uh, okay, well, let's just pick a playlist that we know is a playlist. Uh, I think this is Toto, is it? No, that's not a playlist. Um, is it a playlist? Yeah, it's, I guess it is one of my playlists. Uh, so, and then you hit the Spotify web playlist. It generates this crap. And what you want is the little piece of data right here. It starts right there. It says Africa Toto. You select all of that up to where the last video is. And that is right here. So that's the last video. Copy that. Then you go back to your uh, you go back to your playlist. Uh, where is it? I had it on here. Oh no, it's 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 up at the top. There it is. It fell off the bookmark bar, uh, bar. and uh, let me see. Let me bring the bookmark bar into the view so that you can see that. And uh, so uh, that was the, we go back here. Where did I go to the page? Let me do this again. Oh, I already, I already copied it. I'm just going to paste it in. That's what I was going to do. Then you go to the arrangement screen. This is arrangement screen. You select Spotify Sucker, and then you paste.
paste your playlist into it. And you hit submit. And then uh, it's going to select these videos. It's going to select this content and it's going to search for the, the on YouTube. We hit search. We wait. And it'll take a while once it through, gets through it all. It'll get all the videos for Toto, which is the band that they selected here. What I selected. And I have to wait on it. It's 50 videos. It's going to be about 150. So it should, should take a while to do. So I mean, it's going to be 150 videos because it selects three videos from each playlist. Uh, from each thing and uh, see it's got uh, music videos and whatnot so and it tells you for each result for each query what they queried and what the results were and if there isn't anything then it'll, you'll see that there is no results for that query so 144 results, that's uh, how many results times three, that's how it gets that number. Or can't be. What that means is it means some of the videos didn't produce results. I'd have to look for it. So one of these only produced uh, two two videos or something like that. Then you hit check all, and then add content. And there you go. It's in the playlist now. Okay. So now that's added, and we go into the arrangement uh, area. No, we need select. And we change the size of the of the screen using our buttons for that. Select all the videos. Hit clean. No, oh, that removes repeats. So if there's any repeated videos, and then those will disappear from this. So it got all the it got all the repeats, and then we want to take out all of the stale content so single image screen uh, videos so we do that and this will take a little while and once that's done we can go in and edit the videos uh, in the playlist so people think edit videos you mean you just don't let them play the playlist I say no I try to perfect my the playback for my uh, audience. I want them to have the experience that I want would want to have whenever I come into a playlist. I see, wow, it got rid of a lot of stuff. So there was a lot a lot of stale content in there. Um, that's how I guarantee that the content is uh, music videos. So, the first one was a music video. Okay, we could do that. Or ninety nine. Here, ninety nine. Oh, so so. So that's how you do that. That's how you get your Spotify into your Channel Z. It's pretty simple. All you do is uh, 
again you go to your arrangement screen you uh, get the playlist or oops. you get this bookmark down here the one that says Spotify you drag and drop that up here you, get, you go to your Spotify account you pick a playlist any playlist uh, you go to your library and say my library and my playlist and I want nerds only the nerds only playlist so it's Devo it's basically just nothing but Devo I was gonna add more to it but uh, then you hit your Spotify web playlist thing here and uh, it generates this crap and then you go in here and you find uh, Monster Man and you go until it stops showing you durations, video durations. See it's got the recommended song, they don't have video durations. We don't want that, we just want this. So I hit copy and then we go back to the channel Z and uh, select the Spotify sucker you can drag that uh, if you want to you can uh, you can uh, drag that into your bookmark bar so that you can click on that in the next time rather than have it come back and then you hit Spotify sucker paste submit and uh, reason like why it's like that is because these are all um, it's showing you Devo and their albums. And here's the the song and the uh, artist. But it selects from this row for the for that. Uh, so you hit search. And then you wait. all the videos a few of them have actual music videos select everything add content now it's going to be Toto and Devo and uh, we'll go back to arrangement or no it's select we want to be on and we select the content that is not Toto which is going to be hard uh, I think it, it should be where where would it stop? We can find out if we go to edit videos. Let's, uh, let's see this. So it's this one. I'll go back to the selection screen. So I think it's I think that's the next one after. This is the first one. So it's it's all this stuff is the so it's all that stuff. And uh, we then we do a clean on that. That gets rid of the repeats. And uh, then we try to refine our where our stuff starts. Uh, I think it's oh, you know what? It intermixed everything together. I think. Ah, screw it. I'll just do this then hit weed and wait and weed down all the videos
and weed also I think weed also gets rid of um, videos that are no longer available but it, it gets rid of several different uh, kinds of videos and stuff and edit video <laughs> so we got Devo in here. <laughs> So there you go. That's Spotify integration with Channel Zane. 